morning everyone so today we are coming with a very interesting lecture so first i am welcoming everyone to our channel space remote sensing and gis and i am very much thankful to all of you so you all are like our channels and we are increasing our subscribers anyway today uh, we are going to discuss a topic which is very important that is the sentinel one sar data processing which i already showed you okay so now this time i will going to show you the same data processing technique how we're going to apply it over our model builder okay so how you will going to create a model to process the sar data and we also going to show you how you can convert that model as a tool okay and how you can save this model uh, in our image analyst in our uh, analyst gallery okay uh, geoprocessing analyst gallery you want to add it as a tool so that anytime you can use that model and if you want to convert it in a python code and how to import that particular code to that particular model of sentinel one data process which you are actually doing so all these things which we are going to discuss so i hope it will be a very interesting lecture okay so let's start so as you seen uh, i already opened the sentinel one data okay so that is a, a main fest file which is already there you already seen in my last video how we're going to open this is simply you can directly go to the uh, add data okay and wherever you have the sentinel one data sets okay so you see here sentinel one data so see this main face dot save file simply click on okay so this is your image how it will come now i am going to create a model so there is a two way you can create a model inside of js pro either you can go to the analysis and simply click on the model builder this is a one process okay next one is see under this toolbox in this uh, test toolbox will be there so you can just right click go to the new and simply click on the model so both way is applicable to create a model so simply uh, suppose uh, i will click on this just see automatically the model will come here so simply click on this model and see this new model is already created now if i want to convert uh, or you can say save this model by name okay so simply right click on this go to the property okay and you can give this uh, name of this model as a sar model suppose i am giving okay so for the name you should not give any space okay for this model you can give a space as a sar space model okay so simply click on okay so this is the model which is name is came so now you want to save this model so simply click on save model and see the now now the sar model name was saved okay so now the next important things which we will going to show you the first steps of that is the sar data processing you have the sar gallery okay so i just go to the geo processing tool okay so this is the model which i already created but anyway i will show you how to create that particular model only so now uh, you see here here i have uh, this under this uh, image analysis obviously you require the image analysis license for this okay so under the image analysis you have sentinel capture radar data processing technique okay so very first things which we have going to process it over here that is uh, i'm just going to download the orbit files okay so this is a very first steps which you have to do so i'm just simply drag and drop this download orbit file options okay so now in this download orbit file if i double click the main thing is you have to give the input of your sar data so i'm just selecting that so for the orbit so you can get this sentinel precise orbit because now it is uh, we uh, means precise orbit is basically coming after 15 days of your data capture okay so uh, if it is a recent data then you can go with the sentinel uh, rest restituted okay but if it is um, not a recent date it is a little means more than 15 days old then definitely you can go with the sentinel precise orbit okay so login credentials you can simply give that same uh, login and credentials which we used in our last video which i already uh, mentioned you Okay, so the same uh, login ID we are actually providing like G M. <coughs> sorry, not in caps. G M S S. G U S. Okay, so same password. Okay, so I'm just giving that. Simply click on OK. So once you click on the OK, so you see the first steps is done. Okay, now I'm just going to trying to solve it. Okay, by using uh suppose the next step okay sorry very 
that is basically see downloading orbit file is is done the first second is now we have to do the uh, applied orbit connections okay so all orbit connections you just remember last day we also showing that so which is basically uh, next we will actually update the orbital informations in the sar images okay with this osb file which is just downloaded using the applied uh, uh, orbit corrections tools okay so uh, let's let's uh, going to run the apply orbit corrections where you require the orbit file which we already downloaded it okay so simply i will connect this so click on this orbit file so just double click over here so here now you need to give input that orbit file is already there but you have to select this the second output okay so simply click on okay now your orbit file is created so now next process uh, which we will going to perform uh, that is basically the SAR now we are going to start the SAR uh, processing actually okay so next we will actually the we will apply the several tools for SAR image transformations into the analysis ready results okay so this uh, now the next tool which we will going to use that is a thermal noise so as i show you that apply radiometric calibrations okay we are applying the radiometric terrain flat link display link and uh, we are going to apply the geometric incursion these are the steps which we will going to do the very first steps which we will going to process that is the uh, removal of thermal noise so i already explained you last time how will what is this thermal noise corrections is actually okay so uh now i'm just simply connect this thermal noise input so just see here here you need to select if you want to apply this thermal noise connections to the both band so simply click on ok and simply click on ok so you see here now my thermal noise corrections is is ready the next uh you see if you want to adjust this model then click on this auto layout you see very nicely it will adjust it okay so thermal noise is is done now the main main important another process is calibration things okay so now we have to do the radiometric calibrations so we have the options here I apply the radiometric correction tools so i will just simply drag and drop so next uh, this calibration tool is calibrating the SAR data which is necessary to obtain the meaningful backscatter that are uh, that can be related to the physical properties for the features in the images okay so now i am just simply drag and drop this and simply click on it just double click on that and see here we have already getting the input from the model so simply click on that now if you want the beta naught so then you can go with beta naught if you want to go with sigma naught or gamma naught so whatever the knots you want you can simply select it from here but i am not changing it as of now i will go with the beta naught okay now uh, this is the uh, the another main important steps the calibration things which will be done successfully okay now the next is we are going to apply the uh, radiometric terrain flatly okay so we will now connect uh, the input SAR data for the radiometric distortions due to the topographic using this radiometric terrain collection tools we are going to correct that okay so due to the side looking nature of this uh, SAR sensor so ground features uh, that sensor appears is artificially bright and the feature facing away from the sensor which is appear artificially darker so radiometric terrain flattening is normalizing this back scattering value to eliminate these distortions okay so that's what we are actually doing so uh, uh, radiometric ter terrain flattening now i'm going to apply that is this one so click over here now you see if i give input this now you required one dim data to giving here as i okay so i already downloaded this srtm dem i already showed you in the last video how to download the srtm dem i hope you all remember so i will just click here and then you need to give the dem as an input where see i already downloaded this final srtm dem this is a bangalore so i already downloaded it so i just give it as an input my model is ready so simply click on okay so now you see uh this is precise uh this optional files so if you want you can give but as of now i don't want that okay so i am not giving this as i so you want to adjust auto adjust you can do it auto adjust so that it will automatically fit in your layout now uh we are going to convert it sorry now there's a very important steps which we're going to perform so after this apply the remote flattening we are going to do the i think display link 
okay so display king of the image so next we are going to apply the display king so what is that so i already told you in the last time also just to remembering you so we will now going to correct uh, the input the sart data of the speckling by using the display king tools so speckle refers to the grain and salt and proper uh, paper effect which you told you about last day also that can be uh, seen through the sart images so the backscattering recorded for a single pixels is actually results of the radar wave interacting with the multiple features objects within the pixels on the ground and the scenes so when those uh, intersections interfere uh, you can say constructively so they are from the bright pixels okay so when they are interfere uh, indestructively so that they form as a dark pixels so shade of this gray corresponding interface that are neither fully uh, constructed or not the distant okay so let's see this uh, display king technique so i'm just going to take this display king and i will give it as input there okay now uh, this model is ready so i will just click on this give a input data so now you see here so if you want to apply in a both scenes simply click on okay so here this is your filtering techniques you see whatever the filterings you want you can select it okay so i will go with the refine filter only to show you so simply now next steps is another important steps okay so that is my now my image is ready for the geometry corrections okay so now we will going to apply the geometry corrections to uh, make the final output so i will just click on this i will take this for geometry corrections also you require the dem raster so just double click on this click on there and select the same dem which you are already given as input okay so simply click on okay now model is ready if you want to pre-adjust so you can click on auto layout so all this model is perfectly saved okay so if you want to save this model then simply save this model first okay now your model is actually saved okay so now you want to um, uh, save and validate your model so if there is any error is there or not so just simply click on the validate okay so if there is no error in the coming in this model okay then uh, we can run this model and create the output okay so where your output will go so your output will be pro go and save wherever this files will be there so it is under the training uh technical support this test one tester um okay 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 so they here uh this basically this uh, data will going to save okay so now just validate and run this model and let's wait for the results okay so after this result will come so we'll going to show you so this is how one by one by steps will going on so let's the results will come and i will show you the output okay let's wait for two minutes so see after the pre-processing this data you will get this results you just see exactly the three things are actually created but uh these are directly output which i actually uh created over here okay so how we'll created this concept uh of this uh composite so that we also discussed before also okay Okay, so one thing i didn't tell you that is a uh, few more steps is required to process to that data sets okay so that is up to this we already showed you how we are actually running that so after this output okay so you required a few more steps to create the color composite otherwise it will be only the uh the corrected image okay so the next steps which we did it here you see here under this particular uh geo processing tool we have one more data sets like image analysis we have now so there you see under the sar we have few more steps like after the geometric directions the next steps you can do the sar converts our unit so i'm just drag and drop this sar unit okay and i will just uh, add with this uh, shift.face file so and you just see here uh, if i go here so this is the direct input and what is the conversions i want the linear to db so that i simply convert and simply click on okay okay and you see this is my final the sar unit which is in linear to db is converted and then with the color composite which we're going to create now so that is from this tool okay so you have to drag and drop this tool then you connect with this now here you need to do one steps so that is you have to double click on this you have to give input the that last input okay but here you have to go with this drop down so by default it is selected as a brand id okay so you have to select the brand names okay 
and the band whatever the bands will be there for this uh, sentinel one that is vv and vh we already have okay and then you have to create one more band that is vv slash vh so that is what you have to create okay so simply vb slash vh which i give here so just think this uh 321 or 123 whatever the band combinations we created okay for these composites are so your first band will be your vv second band will be your vh vh and the third band will be vv slash vh okay so once you click on this simply click on okay save your model so whatever you are having so this is the total model output which will be generated okay so now uh this is the output so if you want uh this is the direct output of that particular sard image so that is something like that okay so this is how this data is actually coming so now this model is actually little big uh to convert it in in a uh in a tool but the process of the tool if it's because up to this you can directly convert it okay so we are adding this tool so let's see it is converted in the tool it not okay so for to convert it in the tool first thing is you go to the catalog sysr model if i double click on this see no parameter is showing so now so you have to make this two input as a parameter so that other people can use their uh, data input a model and they directly get the results so see here i will just select this right click and click on this parameter okay so same here i will select it right click and click on this parameter this two is saved parameter i generated now i save these parameters okay now this my model is actually ready to give the parameter and directly i will get output okay so if nobody have idea to create this model so they can die so you can create a model for them and convert it to tool just giving this two as a parameter so now you come back to this uh to uh catalog so just double click on this r model and you just see what it will come so it is taking a time but yes see we just i just need to give the input data and this i will give is the output data sets and then simply click on run no other things you need to do it's a created a model directly and even this model which i created i want to add with this analysis okay so you see this is a gallery so toolbox gallery so here i want to save this as a toolbox gallery okay then how we'll do that simply you can come to this catalog okay just right click on this okay and then click on this add to the analysis gallery that's all and you just see here this i will get a new sar model with my new gallery so next time when i will going to do so i will just click on this model so i need to give the sar data as an input another one i just require that is dem i will give it here as an input i will run it i will get direct this results what i am getting it here so that is a composite band of this most beautiful thing is if if somebody want the code they want to convert in a code so then also options will be there in model builder you can convert it in a python code within a second simply click over this uh, send to the python window see so python code is ready so now you want to run this code so then you can save it in a python window so for this you can go and export this python file so just give a name as a sar model sar model and save it okay so you can simply save it so wherever you want to uh, run this model in your python window definitely you can do that so that's all from my side i hope you enjoy this sar model okay so this is the total model if you see i will go slowly okay so see here this is the total model which we prepared even we did the geometric corrections and then converting in a sar unit and finally we get a color composite and that i will convert in this particular model frame within a second okay so that is what the beautiful thing is okay so you can generate all see so many information so it's also you can give it over here okay so that is the most important thing that the tool which we actually prepared here okay so anybody can use this i hope you like this video so if you like this video please share with the others and uh, uh, please subscribe my channel okay so uh, only one thing i want that is your subscriptions and your comments okay so your comments is are very very interesting and i will try to answer most of the times 
okay so if i am not able to answer so please sorry for that okay so thank you thank you very much okay so we next week we will come with a very interesting and a new lecture thank you thank you all